I News 26 and CCTV. It's high school basketball. Coming to you tonight from Cadillac High School. Welcome back, everybody. We are moments away from second quarter, the start of the second quarter here with Menzie Central leading 20 to 8. We want to take this time right now to thank our sponsors to help us bring this broadcast tonight. We have Cadillac Tire, we have Napa, which has locations in Cadillac, Lake City, and Big Rapids, and we have Pizza Plus. And certainly, um, we are looking for more sponsors to help bring uh, the high school. Even, uh, Boys and girls basketball. Yeah, looking for a sponsor hockey. for our scoreboard. Yeah, mm -hmm. sponsor to be our game sponsor. We'll give you some information on how to get that. Looks like number 40, Allie McAllister, a senior. Um, senior Ford has checked in the game, and Cadillac got the ball to start the second oh, quarter. She blocks that shot right there too, Jason. And the ball will remain with Benzie. Yep. Wearing red here tonight, and it looks like... Lauren Ross is going to take this ball, look to inbounds it here. She finds Church, who's been very dominant early in this game, especially on the offensive glass. She got her hand on a couple there, but for the Vikings, number three, McKenna Bryant gets that rebound. Looks like Benzie's going to stick with that diamond press. Yeah, it looks like uh, Cadillac got a little confused on the inbounds play, and they didn't match up real well, and Church got an open look right uh, without even running a play, but there's a danger zone, Dan. Nice job by the Vikings to break the press right here. You know, that's a nice step back move right there by Callie Paulus. She was unfortunate, didn't make that basket. Cadillac's yep. number 40. Allie McAllister, McAllister had a nice rebound there. Nice rebound. Yep. Vikings set it up here. Emmington with it out top. She slides it across to Paulus. Paulus to Bartman. Nice offensive set here by the Vikings. Bartman gets a nice drive as a result of that, and she's going to get two free throws. Benzie's a really physical team. You know, uh, Hannah Emmington is, is is running on a cut there and tries to just cut, and they shove her out of bounds. And, you know, they just, they're just going to play physical, and if the ref allows it to go, and then that's how they're going to play. Bartman drains the first free throw. Benzie's got some depth in there too. You know, they've put in put in about nine kids, I think, total today. And she makes both to bring the Vikings to within 10 as Ross runs the offense. Little bit of a foul over the back right there. Yep, that was on Allie. That was uh, on McAllister, yep. Yeah, and you know, that's a, that's a tough thing because the ball's in the air for so long and you think, I got to get there, and there's only one way to get there, and it goes through number five. Yep. And three substitutions for Benzie right now. Church with it out in the corner. She finds Bretzky. She and Ross play give and go. It's Good turnover. defense by yep. Callie Paulus right there. Emmington, or excuse me, that's not Emmington. It's McKenna Bryant. That's I think. Bryant. That's number three with a long three-point shot. Not good. As Warsecki gets that rebound. Bretzky runs the offense, dishes it underneath. What a nice job right there by Ross. I think they're gonna get uh I think they're gonna get Church on the foul there. They did. Nope. Could be a one and one situation here, Dan, too. I yeah, that is the seventh team foul against Benzie, so Cadillac will step to the free throw line here. You know, and in, in, in down ten to twenty right now, making a few free throws, nope. taking care of the ball, that'll kind of get them back in the game and and slow the pace and down. And it slows the pace, absolutely. Gets, uh, gets Cadillac a little rest because their their starters, their guards especially, oh. are are running both Bryant both is offenses. a little long with that first one. Church gets another rebound. She hands it off to Paulus. Excuse me, that's uh, Ross. Wild shot right there by Benzie. And Church gets another basket off an offensive rebound. She now has 10 points for Benzie. Bartman in the corner looks to find... You know, Benzie, Paulus, Benzie does a good job of just being patient with the press. They don't they don't try to steal it. They just say, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna make you have to work a little bit, and if you're not gonna handle the ball well, you're gonna get stolen." Nice I, steal inside. The tens are stealing it back <laughs> and forth. 
<laughs> and as a result of that, Aliyah Ross gets two points. I think we had seven change of possessions on that play right there. Hemington looks, yep. unfortunately, hut, or Allie McAllister, McAllister fell, down. fell down there, yeah. <coughs> Quick in and out right there, long three-point basket is good by Bretsky. She got the roll on there, didn't she? She has seven points right now. Hemington goes coast to coast, lays it in with her left hand. What a nice basket that was. You know, and Cadillac can do some, some spacing issues, and Hannah can break the press like that just with herself. And ideally, you like them to go, uh, you know, pass, pass, pass. But sometimes if they're turning it over, you might have to rely on Hannah. And we got a foul from behind right there from McAllister. I think that'll be her second, Jason. Yep, that's Put uh, you on that, is that right? <laughs> that is, yep. We can look up at the scoreboard in here and see that. So Church is going to come out and get a break while Benzie's up 27-12. to 12. And, you know, for Benzie, this is a good time to work on some substitution issues. And Quick steal by the Vikings right there, and Bartman is down the floor with it. She's going to go to her right and get fouled. Right. I think that was maybe from behind a number three right there, which is one of the Ross girls. That's Lauren Ross. Yep, that's her second foul, too, and... Um, puts uh, puts Bartman at the line to shoot, I believe, she just a, uh, they're going to give her two shots on it. She made her last two, or her only two of the game, and she is just a little bit off with that one. Sub subbing in here right now is number number 10 for Cadillac, Callie Paulus, and also who came in 23, I think, for yep, 23 Camelia is Amelia Christensen. So Bartman gets ready with her second attempt. And she finds nothing but that net for that one. She's now three for four from the line. Benzie still leads by 14 as Bretsky sets up this offense. Possession right now. She finds Ross inside. Ross with a little bit of a Jason May move underneath. <laughs> yep. Leans in, draws the fall, and gets the basket. I thought you were going to say just threw it up, but <laughs> but she did. She she had a little size advantage there. And uh, she took she took it right to Cadillac and got the got the foul. It's a very good, strong offensive move right there, and she drains the free throw. She now has <coughs> seven points. Benzie up by 17 early in the second quarter. Cadillac does a nice job breaking that press. Evington goes right around Ross, stops, makes a nice layup. Give her another two points. Yeah, Hannah's Hannah's quick and. Uh, I think, I think they need to kind of keep the ball in her hands if they want to handle Benzie's press. And that was a great pass from Paulus to her. <coughs> That's, I missed who made that basket, Jason. Uh, 23, Camelia Christensen. Christensen did. gets her basket. Yep, she That's had a very good dribble drive right there, and uh, you can tell she's used to handling the ball. If you missed our early on work here tonight, she is a foreign exchange student from Denmark. Cadillac's number 23, misses a short jump shot right there. That's Chloe uh, Fessler. Ball goes out of bounds off Benzie. And looks like number five, Emily Bonds checking in yep, for she, Paulus. She replaces Paulus, and, you know, Emily's going to have to be a ball handler for them on this press break. Hemington from the left elbow makes two-point basket. She has six in this quarter alone, Jason. Yeah, and you know, uh, Hannah's a Hannah's a pretty experienced one. She was a starter for him last year, and and if they're going to come back in here, Cadillac's going to have to get her going. There's another quick basket right there by Aaliyah Ross. Two more points for Benzie. Bartman <laughs> breaks the press here. And we got a little scrum in the corner right there, and we got a jump ball call. That ball's going to go back to Benzie here, and. You know, Cadillac has done a better job uh, not turning it over once they get down here. Uh, number 20 for... Kayla Lemkul. Yep, Lemkul's coming in. She replaces number 12, uh, Warsecki. So Cadillac is matching up in their man-to-man -man defense. Got one player. Oh, looks like Cadillac's gone to a little zone here, yeah, Jason. It's a matchup zone, yep. and, and I think they just want to kind of pack it down for the big girls of Benzie to not have so much 
Well, that's good inside-out basketball right there by Cadillac. It didn't result in a basket, but... Uh, Emily Bond got a good shot. Yep, and, uh, Bryant did a great job of penetrating and dishing it out. Good block there by number 23, Fessler. Bryant goes coast to coast and bangs it in off the glass. Looks like Benz is going to call a timeout here. And uh, Coach Ross wanted to travel on that, but... But the ref's not going to give it to him, and, and she wants a timeout and uh, regroup. Cadillac had a little run there. So Cadillac's down 34-19. <coughs> um, we do want to remind our viewers that if you are interested in any of the box sets from this fall's football season, um, you can contact the station. You can get box sets from Cadillac, Lake City, McBain, Mesick, Manton, and Pine River. Um, you can order those or check them out online at cctv. Or excuse me, dash cadillac.org, or you can uh, get a hold of mynews26.com, or certainly if you call the station at 577-1844, they will be able to uh, steer you in the right direction. You know, especially Chris our our folks from Lake City with uh, the terrific playoff run that yep. they had. Yep. We covered three of their playoff games. And, you know, uh, Christmas coming up, it's a great time to get, get one of the high school athletes something they can have and, and look back on uh, years, years from now. And for our basketball and hockey fans, we will be offering box sets of the Cadillac girls' basketball season or the boys' basketball season or the Cadillac hockey season. And out of that timeout, a quick two points right there by Bretsky. Yeah, Bretsky uh, does not hesitate on that. I know I've said that a few times tonight, but uh, Benzie is, is pretty impressive when they, they just catch the ball and, and know what to do with it. Hannah Emmington there kind of dribbled out of bounds and, and turnover for Cadillac gives the ball back to Benzie. So Cat, or Benzie called that timeout kind of, I think, maybe to just get his – get her team in that offensive set that they needed to be in to see this zone defense of the Vikings. They've looked a lot better their last two possessions here. I think Coach Ross wanted to just talk to the referee and I'm sure <laughs> she was it too. I'm sure she was just encouraging him to, to make a different call on that last one. Bretsky misses her first free throw <coughs> attempt. She has nine points for the game. If she drains this one, that'll give her double digits. She misses that one also, but gets her own rebound. She out-hustled Bartman for that one. Dishes yep. it inside to Aliyah Ross for two points. And you can see Cadillac is, uh, they're tired, and they, they, need to, they need to be able to fight through stuff like this if they are going to see more press, pressing teams this season. Bond does a nice job breaking the press, and then in the half-court offense just gets a uh, pass deflected. Benzie takes it down the floor. Leah Ross comes to the basket, and she draws a foul to number five, which is Emily Bond for Cadillac. I think that's going to be her first foul. Eighth team foul. Yep, so they'll be shooting one one and it is Emily's first. It's a shooting foul. <coughs> she makes, Leah Ross makes this one. Looks like a mass substitution coming in here for Benzie. Uh, Four, four new girls coming in, and uh, we just keep reloading over there on do, Coach Ross's do. bench. Miley Church is coming in for the shooter, and sometimes the shooter misses on purpose, I think, when they know a sub's coming <laughs> in. <from. laughs> well, it's short-lived as the ball goes out of bounds to the Vikings. They are down 39-19 with a little more than two minutes to go here in the first half. Jason Main, alongside of me, I'm Dan Gusser. We're happy to bring you Opening night of the girls' high school basketball season here from Cadillac High School. As Emmington goes coast to coast, just doesn't find the <coughs> bottom of the basket, and number 32 for Benzie Huddleston gets that rebound. Bretsky's now setting up their offensive set. She looks for Church. Back to Bretsky. Goes in the far corner to Price. Over to Huddleston. To Bretsky. Price back to Huddleston, and we have a jump, jump ball. ball. It's going to be Cadillac's ball, and, you know, Dan, Hannah can pretty much break the press, I think, whenever she wants, and yep. I think they'd be all right just getting in her hands, kind of clearing out a little bit, 
and uh, let her break it. She does a nice job right there. She finds Sydney Paul down in the corner. Hemington stops, turns. She kicks it off to Bryant. She goes between her legs, goes back right. Hemington kicks it out to five. That's Bond. Goes in the corner to Fessler. Nice job by the Viking offense right here. Emmington back with it now up top. And that's a good way to beat a press right here. So just move the ball around on offense. Take your time a little bit. Yeah, there's no Bryant shot clock. Brings it out the corner. Goes behind her back. That looked like a little bit of a foul right there, Jason. Vikings keep control. Bryant's going to beat her person. Go to the basket. And she draws a foul to to number two right there, which hey. is Abby Bretsky. Yep. Nice job by the Vikings on them, their half-court offense right there. Bretsky uh, had a few inches on uh, Michaela, but she took it right to her. You know, Cadillac did a great job of their spacing on that one. They, they, didn't did. get, they didn't get too caught up in where they were. They just kept their space. And um, eventually, even though the ball bounced around a little bit, eventually they got a good look at the basket. So Bryant misses her first. She'll be... Uh, Getting ready for her second while she's doing that. Once again, we want to thank our sponsors here tonight. We have Cadillac Tire. We have Pizza Plus. And we have Napa with their locations in Cadillac Lake City and in Big Rapids. And we're certainly looking for other to come join that group. Bryant makes her second free throw. Cuts the lead to 19. And it looks like she's going to make a steal right here too. She's going coast Three to coast. One. Finds Emmington. Emmington steps away from the basket. I think she got that one deflected, Jason. Yep. Good job getting back by Cadillac and matching up. But fortunately for them, they got a foul and a bucket. You know, that's a nice job by Callie Price right there, who brings the ball down the floor, gets past half court, and then brings it to the center of the floor, makes the defender play her, opens up that uh, left side lane for Bretsky to fill. And Bretsky gets two free throws out as a result of this. And she makes I think me she, a basket yeah, in a free she throw. She made the basket too. So Benzie's still coming out in the press. Cadillac's got a little different press break here on 1 4 press break. They're trying to do it a little different. Nice job right there by the Vikings. And a nice three point shot right there by the Vikings. McKenna Bryant from way downtown. You know, McKenna's sister plays for Lake Superior State. Uh, and she's, she's had to do that on her a couple times, I think. <laughs> well, that'll bring us to halftime, everybody. The score uh, with Menzie Central leading 42-23 here from Cadillac High School. We'll take a short break, and we'll be back with third quarter action. <laughs> 